Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our seats into a 2019 Textron Wildcat XX. <music> 2019 is the second model year for the XX, and with that new year comes a few small changes to how the seats are mounted. Installing the passenger seat is exactly the same, but on the driver's side, there are a few changes to the sliding mechanism that we provided extra hardware for. So if you're ordering any seats through PRP or our authorized dealers, just make sure you select the correct model year. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the driver's seat. So the first step is gonna be to pull out the seat using the latch in the back. A basic overview of what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull off the silver release handle with the two springs and two screws. Then we're gonna undo these four bolts and pull off the mounting base. Then undo the four gold or silver bolts and pull off the plastic piece. Once that's all done, we're gonna take all those pieces and reassemble them on the bottom of our PRP seat. So first things first, we're gonna use pliers to pull off these two springs. Next up, we're gonna remove these two bolts using a T25 socket and a 10 millimeter wrench. Once those are out, slide this metal handle down and off. Next, we're gonna use a T25 socket to take off these four bolts. Once those are loose, you're gonna slide this metal piece up off the plastic. Next up, we're gonna remove these four bolts using a T27 socket and then remove the plastic pieces. Included with your seats, you should have two square tube brackets, two release handle brackets, eight 3 16 Allen head bolts, 16 washers, and eight nuts. Now for the Wildcat XX, we have six different UTV seat models for you to choose from. Finding the right seat model for you really depends on what type of features you're looking for, what type of riding you're doing, and a lot of personal preference but as far as installation goes, they're all gonna be exactly the same. So for today's installation, we're gonna install our XC seats. Once you take your seat out of the bag and take out all the extra hardware, we're gonna place it down on a table or a workbench, just like before. If you want, you can also use the plastic bag to kind of protect it from the table. Next up, we're gonna attach our sliding handle brackets and our squared tubes to the bottom of the seat, like so. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the small little tab coming off here is facing towards the back of the seat, and then on the square tubes that these two large holes are facing towards the front of the seat. Once you have everything in place, you're gonna use a 5 30 seconds Allen and a 7 16 wrench to tighten everything down. So now we're basically just replicating exactly what we had on the stock slider. So first step is to put on these two plastic pieces on either side. Uh, when doing this, there are two little nubs here 
and the front sticking out, make sure that those go towards the front of the seat. Then use a T27 socket to tighten them down. Next up, we're gonna slide on our mounting base, starting from the back and moving to the front. You're gonna have these four little holes, the four little nubs, make sure those click in so you're aligned properly. Then we're gonna reinstall those four bolts using a T25 socket. Once you've done that, we're gonna reattach this sliding handle, making sure that these prongs go on top of the slider and that these two little flares in the bottom go underneath our metal tab that we put on. Back in, move it up until the bolt holes are lined up, then reattach the bolts and nuts. Then you're going to tighten them back down using a 10 millimeter wrench and a T27 socket. Once that's completed, slide your bracket up or down to make sure that the teeth actually lock in correctly. And then we're going to reattach those two springs using pliers. After that, you're all set. Just put the seat back into the vehicle. Next up, we're gonna remove the passenger seat. Now, installation on this side is a lot easier because there's no slider mechanism. Now, the first thing you wanna do is to remove these two bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. Once that's done, you can pull out the seat. Basically, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull off both seat cushions from the frame and then reinstall our PRP seat onto the frame and then put it back into the vehicle. So, use a T30 socket to remove these four bolts. Then we're gonna take the back piece off, same thing, using a T30 socket. Once you're done with that, you're gonna put the seat frame on the bottom of your PRP seat and then bolt it down using the supplied hardware and a 3 16 Allen wrench. Once that's done, you simply put the seat back in, make sure that the two bolts on the back are lined up correctly, then use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten the two front bolts down. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email sales at prpseats.com.